Hey everybody, Ian here at Cinegear 2014 and we stopped by the Preston booth to speak to Howard Preston about uh, their product, the Light Ranger 2. Howard, thanks for taking time to talk to us. Can you give us a little rundown on the Light Ranger and functionality and how it interfaces with the existing Fizz setup. Okay, so the Light Ranger 2 works in conjunction with the MDR3 and also the Hand Unit 3. Uh, it uses the libraries, the lens libraries in the Hand Unit 3 to automatically know where the focus marks are. So when you go into autofocus mode, it can correctly tell you uh, exactly where the person is and show you where they're in the depth of field, where in the depth of field, are they in the near part of the depth of field, in the middle or in the far part. But we'll start out with the manual mode, uh, which is used most of the time because you want to choreograph the focus move with the actor's movements. So in order to do that these days with fast lenses and really high resolution cameras, you need accurate distance information. So what we're going to look at is the screen and on the screen, you'll see some rectangles. Uh, you're actually in the middle of the screen, Ian, so if we move a little bit, there you go. So now what we can see is Ian in the foreground, and all those rectangles, are 16 across the screen, represent a distance measurement. And if the distance is closer than the setting of the focus knob, the rectangle is below the center line. If it's further, it's above. And when you're in the depth of field, it's green. So I'm gonna focus on you, Ian. And as I focus on your face, I've got you in the center of the depth of field. On the right, you can see everything in the background is much further away, so the rectangles are toward the top. And if I put my hand close somewhere, let me see where the lens is. That's, you can see it's reading my hand, which is everything is, this is much closer than this setting. So it gives you a, a very easy graphical way of understanding where the focus is. So when you, if you're in a, a shot, you see somebody coming left to right across frame, you can see immediately where they are and where they are relative to the knob setting. So this is the, the manual mode. The auto mode is something uh, very powerful because what it does is it allows you to autofocus on whatever's in that red, red rectangle. The red rectangle I can move around so I can determine where I want it to autofocus to. And, and you're navigating that with the handset. So I, Yes, I'm navigating it with the handset. So I'm using the navigation key, the north, south, east, west keys, to move the rectangle around. I can also make it larger or smaller to make it more selective. So I can make it more selective, like make it very narrow, or I can, and then I can move it over to your face and we can focus on your face. This is um, actually not super fast. It's not really made for action. Uh, but it's very fast and very kind of organic. So what, what I'll do to show you that is we'll have uh, my assistant Leticia do a little walkthrough and you can see how smooth and organic the focus looks. It doesn't look particularly mechanical. It doesn't look abrupt. It looks very smooth like a focus puller we're doing the job. Right. And uh, availability? Uh, this is scheduled for the fourth quarter. This is our alpha prototype. We're doing this just for determining its uh, characteristics. It's the first time it's actually been outside in the field, so it's kind of exciting to play with it outside. The next few months are going to be sending it off to the set and getting feedback from uh, focus pullers. So in the fall, we expect to have production models available. Great. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.